Today we have Health and Beauty. This is one box of a four box palette. The four boxes were about $200 in total. So we're looking at about 50 bucks for this box here. And uh, we're going to go through everything that's in this one box. I'll do the other three boxes in the future. Um, but as we go through this, I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. We're not going to go through the tell what the MSRP um, is initially. We're just going to go and look at each of the items individually in this box and see what the resale value is. I'm going to look it up on eBay, Amazon. Um, obviously, Amazon's going to be the regular MSRP price. They might have a sale on it, but... Um, We'll discount that based upon the condition of what's in the box and see how we do for our $50 that's in this box, um, estimated because we had four boxes broken down about 50 bucks a box. We are going to go through these different items, see what we have. I'll let you know what the pricing is as we kind of go through and um, hopefully we do well. So let's jump into this box. It is a little bit heavy, so I'm going to set it to the side a little bit. Um, first, I'll open it, show you a quick peek of what's inside, and then we'll set it down um, to the side. So I'm going to um, not use my knife and just kind of push through the box or punch through the box. <laughs> All right. So to show you first. the inside of the box. A lot of times the health and beauty um, is going to be items that are usually, and I say usually, um, small appliance types of things. Curling irons, uh, hair dryers, um, shavers, those different types of things. But sometimes we get some unique items in the liquidations. So i um, kind of hoping for a couple of unique things, but we'll see. All right, I'm struggling. Hang on. I'm moving my table all over the place here too. Okay, so on the top there, you probably saw there was a little or a fairly sizable white box and we're just gonna grab that first. Oh, my keepsakes. That's really cute. Not sure how that's health and beauty, but this is kind of cool. It looks like something probably went here at one point in time, but I guess um, you could maybe use this little pouch for if uh, the little one had a blanket or a favorite small little stuffed animal or something like that. And then my birth certificate, you could put, I probably wouldn't put my original birth certificate in here, maybe a copy of one, because um, I would definitely want to keep my birth certificate in a place that is a little more secure and maybe in a fireproof safe. But, you know, um, my first tooth, my hospital band, and my first curl. Oh, that's sweet. So this is blue, so it looks like it would probably be for a boy. Um, and let's see, I can't imagine that this is going to cost a whole lot. Yeah, it's not finding it here either. I'm going to um, see if I put in baby box, if that'll pull up anything. It pulled up some other things that are around $20 or so. Not the exact item here, but I would venture to guess as a resell, you're probably going to get mm, $7 to $10 out of this. So we're at $10 there. I'm going to keep a running total. Okay. So our next item, brown box, foaming hand soap agent. Hmm. Hopefully this is, it's heavy, so hopefully this is actually foaming hand soap because I like to use that at home. And if that's the case, then we'll be we'll get, be keeping this one. Okay, so we've got foaming hand soap open. Looks like there's six to the container here. And it is, 
um, completely full, foam, which is kind of, I'm glad we got this, but I just bought some last night. I bought three whole containers. I guess you can't really have too much hand soap. Um, we've got a couple of bathrooms, so it's always nice to have extra um, in the house when one runs out. So this one is J.R. Watkins Foaming Hand Soap. Um, the scent is Aloe and Green Tea. So let's see if we can find that. J.R. Watkins. And a lot of times this is what we're doing um, when we're looking for value is, you, you know, you go online and you look to see what have these sold for in the past um, to kind of help you determine, you know, what the value um, might be for you. Now, when you're on eBay, you always kind of want to look at the items that have been sold because anybody can put any price out there. But um, look at what's been sold to kind of determine what that value is. So um, just in the last five days, uh, the pack of six here, brand new, has sold for $32. There's another one that sold for $35. We have a pack of six brand new here. So I'm going to go ahead. Now this is with free shipping, so $32 with free shipping. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and estimate that for me about $30 um, as a resell for this pack of six hand soaps. Not too shabby because if we estimate this, uh, this guy at, let's say $10 and this guy at $30, we're at $40 already, almost have back our investment into items. So we're $10 away from being into a profit, which is amazing. And we still have quite a bit to go. Oh, these are cool. So it's Colgate Wisp Max Fresh. Um, so these are for obviously for your teeth. It's peppermint flavored. This is a brand new sealed package. And um, these are really good for like on the go, um, just kind of keeping your teeth clean or, you know, after you uh, eat something and you just feel like you need to brush your teeth. Um, have these in your purse and it's really awesome. I am a big flosser. I like to floss after every um, meal that I eat just because um, I, it's just something that I do. Um, and so having these available for you is really awesome too. So uh, Colgate Wisps. So on Amazon, a package of 24, which is what we have here, sells for $4.44. So your resale on this, this is brand new. It's probably going to be around three bucks. Um, so $3, let's say on that. Oh, we have a Brita Premium Filter Water Bottle. What do we have here? Thanks for sending me used water bottle. Somebody wasn't happy. <laughs> Apparently they got a used water bottle and uh, returned it because they weren't very happy about that. Oh yeah, it's definitely been used. You can see the water marks in it. Um, but something like this, easily washable, not a big deal. And it does have like a Brita filter thing. Oh yeah, ooh, the filter needs to be changed for sure. But this, I mean, easy. Just get the new filter, which the filter is always the most expensive part on any of this stuff uh, when you get these water bottles. And um, But, you know, it's got to be cleaned up, washed up, sanitized, and that type of thing. But let's see what kind of value we have on something like this. Now, again, you have to take into consideration it's a used item. So when you're looking that up, um, you do have to keep that in mind. Okay, so only, um, there's only one like this, the plastic bottle that I can find that has sold that has been a used item and that sold for $8 plus $8 in shipping. So you got to kind of keep that in mind um, as well. So we're going to say use this bottle sells for about $10. So we've got another $10. Um, so we're in profit already. We have, we're $3 in profit. Woohoo! A whole three bucks. 
But you know what? It's profit. Okay, so next item. What do we have here? Some kind of, let's open it up. Don't you guys have fun with these health and beauty things? You just never know what you're gonna get. Clint does one that's kinda, he calls it hodgepodge. And sometimes health and beauty feels a little hodgepodge as well. What is this? Oh, is this a walker bag? What is this? If this is a walker bag, I actually need one of these. Um, I know that might sound strange, but um, I, I, for different reasons. Um, not from me, but for someone else, I need one of these. Oh, it's actually a stroller bag. Okay, makes sense um, because it has like two cup holders. Now this is brand new. Um, you can tell it's never ever been used. It most recently sold, uh, okay, there's several different variations, so you definitely gotta look for the right variation. Um, but this right here most recently sold for $18, so not too bad. So we're gonna call that 18, and we're 21 bucks in profit right now because this is brand new. It's in brand new condition. You can tell it has never been used, no hairs on it, no bonk, no dried milk, that kind of thing. So, awesome product. This looks like a swimsuit in health and beauty. That's weird. And if it's a use with swimsuit, I mean, you could definitely wash it and sanitize it, but kind of I I don't know how other people feel but I'm kind of weird about um like use swimsuits and I don't know it's just a thing oh but it's not it's not used it's brand new so it looks like a kid's size swimsuit purple and blue pretty color it's a size 12 they call it grape and royal that is fancy um the brand is can you surf? Haven't heard of that one. But this is a brand new swimsuit. Can you surf? Can you surf? Maybe that's what it is. K-A-N-U. Can you surf? Huh. That'd be funny. Swimsuit. Come on. Spell, Becky. Um... Oh gosh, there's all kinds um, on eBay of this particular brand. We're gonna look by the SKU number because that will narrow that down for us. No exact matches. So let's see if we can find this on Amazon. And sorry if I sound a little nasally, I've been fighting a cold for a good amount of time. Okay. So I found it on Amazon. There was a rubber band in there. Found this swimsuit on Amazon. It sells for $18.99. So resell on this is probably going to be around $10. So not too bad. We'll write that down on the list here. Put that in our stack. What in the world? These look like little baby boots. This is not health and beauty. This is like total hodgepodge because I don't consider a baby stroller like um, pouch and then a swimsuit and then little baby boots to be health and beauty. But maybe I have a different expectation of what health and beauty is. I don't know. These are cute. Oh my goodness, little, little kid boots. They look like they'd be kind of hard to put on. So they Velcro and then, oh, I guess not because you've got the whole zipper, um, zipper thing. It has a little tongue in it. Those are kind of cute. Obviously, I'm not going to get any use out of those because we don't have any little ones, but that's cute. So a pack of 
or two pairs. So there, there's this pair and then one other pair. They are size 11. There is no brand on these. I have no idea how to look these up, so I'm gonna have to do some research. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put a dollar figure of 10 bucks on these just because I have no idea and I'm gonna have to do some research. So ten dollars, brand new, two pairs of um baby boots. Next item. We have a black something wrapped up in this poly bag. So when um, items are returned, a lot of times they come back in or they're packaged in these poly bags just to protect the item. This is not obviously the original packaging. Okay, health and beauty, here we go. We have a Weber grill cover. Is that health and beauty? I should think not. Um, <laughs> odd, very odd. Uh, let's see. Weber, what is this? Is there something that gives me a little more identification? Because we all know there's a million Weber things out there. I don't know if that's Weber Q or uh, grill cover, we'll just say. It's a pretty small one. Here it is. Okay, so it is it is a Q. So it's the Weber 711, or no, 7111 grill cover for Q200 slash 2000 series. And on Amazon, it sells for $21.99. Now this is not in its original packaging, so you do have to take that into consideration when you are looking these items up. So we're gonna go over to eBay and see what, okay, so we've got sold items and then we're gonna look at used. Okay, so there are no used, um, None of these used on eBay to know, but new, it sold recently for $19.99, so I would probably sell it. I mean, this is brand new, it's just not in its original factory packaging, so I'd probably say somewhere in the neighborhood of $15 for this item. So we'll add that to our running tally. Next one, a screen door mount, brand new in the package. This is Prime Line screen door mount. Okay, so the Prime Line uh, screen door mount, this is the latch and pull in black. It most recently sold for $8 in a brand new condition, so we could expect $8 on that. Oh, we have a used, is this used? It looks used. A used filter, so no value in that one. So that's Gosh, it doesn't, wait a minute. It looks used, but, oh, I see what's happened. It's broken. So there's no value in that. You can't use a broken filter. So we just earned $0 on that item. Now we have Denimarin for dogs. I have, this looks like some kind of medicine for dogs. I don't know what that is. You guys probably know what it is if you have dogs. I don't know. And I don't know how this, again, falls into health and beauty. What? Oh, wow. Okay, so these tablets for a 30 pack. Yep, that's what we have. A 30 pack just sold yesterday, $36.99. That's kind of crazy. I don't even know what these are for. It says tablets should be given on an empty stomach at least one hour before a meal for optimal absor absorption. Oh, to help improve liver function. So that's what these are. I'm sure they probably have an X. Oh yeah, 
So the expiration date on this is February of 2022. So they are well within date. Um, so we said, uh, let's see, recent yesterday sold for, what was it, 38? Let me go back. 37. So we'll add that to our running list. 37 bucks. That's pretty awesome. Okay. We have another dog item. I Again, this is more hodgepodge than it is health and beauty. I was expecting to have, um, you know, curling irons and hair dryers and that kind of thing. And so far we haven't had any of that. The most health and beauty, I would say, are the, the wisps. Oh, and the hand uh, hand soap, but that's, that's about it. Everything else has kind of been hodgepodge, which I'm not complaining. I just expected something different. I should probably put my knife down and not open a package with an open blade at me. Oh, so we have a harness for an itty bitty little pup. Um, this has been, it looks like it has. It's got hairs on it, very little hair, but it does have some hairs on it. So it looks like it certainly has been used. Um, and it does say service dog on, on the side. So on actually on both sides. So this must be for just a little, little pup, um, but for service dog. So let's see if we can find this. Is there a brand? Yes. Feo Goo Goo is the brand. You said what? I said Feo Goo Goo. <laughs> Feo Goo Goo Not Goo Goo Feo Goo Okay so brand new This sold for $25.32 Let's see if we can find one That has uh, Is in pre-owned or used condition um, Used Okay there was just one It's not the same color um, But it sold for about $14 Used So um, we had original price of $25.32 and $14 for used price. So we're going to add that to the list. Uh-oh, we've got another one of these filters and it's broken. Zero dollars. Oh, now we're back to health and beauty. Oral B. Uh, these are the replacement heads for the toothbrush. And then there's another item down here. I don't know what this is. It's There's something down here in the bottom. I don't know what that goes to, obviously, to your toothbrush. But it's two replacement heads. So I can't imagine that these are too much. But again, it adds to our profit. So $9.99 is what I found um, on eBay recently sold uh, just two days ago for $9.99. Um, so we'll add that to our total. Just a couple more items here in the box. Oh, looks like we've got a pair of socks. It's a random pair of socks. But I would consider socks health and beauty, I think. That is a very used pair of socks. I'm gonna call that trash. That's disgusting. And I just touched it. Gross. I didn't bring my hand sanitizer, although I've got that those white or that soap. We have an obscure brown box. It's a mystery. What do we have here? I can't get it out. There we go. What is this? It's a picture of some sort. What is this picture? Is this like a sifter? I don't know what this is supposed to do. It's got a little thing that releases up here. And it's got sizes. Oh, I've got it upside down. But still, is it like... I don't know what you do with this. Or why. Oh, I've got a SKU number. If I can... If I can see it through the label. Oh! It's a pancake! 
cake or crepe maker. That's what it is. Okay, now it makes more sense. Um, so it sold brand new just a few days ago, well, at the beginning of the month for $10.99. So uh, I'm not going to call this brand new condition, although it does look brand new. Um, I, I have my skeptical eyes on and feel as though this may not be 100% brand new. Okay, I'm not going to futz around with that, but see if we look at the used oh there's only one ever been one sold um at least recently at the beginning of this month and so it was brand new um that i'm gonna call it five bucks um just because i'm not 100 percent sure that it's brand new it looks brand new but again i'm a little skeptical We have another obscure round box. Oh, it doesn't open that way. It opens this way. Again, I'm gonna call this pal or this box hodgepodge. This is not health and beauty as I had expected it to be. But you get what you get, right? It's all about liquidation. Oh, we have a heater. Personal heater. We'll have to test this out and make sure that it works, um, but it looks like it's still in its original packaging. Everything is still tied up, so it would be expected to work. This is the Lasco brand. Um, we usually sell these for, I think, around $15 um, in the store. Let me just look. Okay, so this is the, I found the exact heater. Um, so this heater would, uh, would sell for, so online eBay just recently sold actually yesterday for $21.99. Um, so we will, um, add that to our total and this will be 20, we'll just call it $20. And then we've got the last item in the box. We have a rice cooker. Um, this is brand new, still factory sealed. You can tell that it's still factory sealed. Um, there's only one layer of tape. You can tell that the tape has not been removed um, from either side. So this is a brand new item. And I'm running out of space here in my little area. So let's put some of this stuff back in the box. Okay, that opened up some space. So we have a Proctor and Silex, or Proctor Silex rice cooker. All right, so this particular, there's several different Proctor Silex uh, rice cookers, but this one right here, it should be the four cup. Oh, nope, the eight cup, okay. Oh, no, it's the same. Okay, this is eight cups cooked, so it's four cups of dry rice and then eight cups when it's cooked. So most recently sold $21. So we're gonna call this $20 as a resell. And let's do our total, see what we've got. Uh, remember, about $50 is all this uh, particular box cost. So I know we are well into some profit. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so I had to use my handy dandy little calculator just because I, that's too much for me to remember talk and remember how to do math, and I, I stink at math to begin with. Um, I'm not gonna deny that, but um, $50 is what we paid um, for the box, and um, everything within the box, $219. Uh, so we're gonna take our $50 investment out of that and we have profited $169 uh, out of this box once everything were is to sell. Um, so $169, so that's three times, more than three times our value. Um, so great profit here. Um, so we're going to process all this stuff and get ready to sell it. And um, so I'm excited that out of one box, we've made three, will make three times our investment back on this. So again, liquidation, you never know what you're gonna get. This was health and 
health and beauty and um, ended up being more of what we would call a hodgepodge, just random all over the place kind of stuff. So um, this was fun. I always enjoy going through these boxes. There's going to be more of these in the future on my channel, so definitely make sure you subscribe um, and watch all those videos. Check out the other videos that I've done. I do all kinds of different things from subscription box openings to liquidation box openings, combination videos with my husband, Franchise Kicks. Make sure you check out his channel if you haven't already. And um, I just really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. You take care. Bye-bye.